Hello there folks, welcome along to the vlog. I won't be saying good morning today because it is almost six o'clock in the evening. That's because today we've brewed a beer and at the end of that I decided uh, to get out a, a recipe for tomorrow. So if you're interested, we're gonna be brewing an East Coast IPA. And I keep looking down here, because as you probably guessed from the intro there, we are putting what's left of the two plum porters, or the porter base recipe, and the plum porter with real plums, into a corny keg. So you saw a week or two back that we bottled loads of this beer with all sorts of different amounts of plum flavouring in there. And what we're gonna do over the coming week is we'll be cracking those bottles open. But this beer, uh, I didn't want to go to waste. And I've been thinking about how, indeed, I can get uh, two bites of the cherry, you might say, or two bites of the plum. So the plum porter, 12 casks of it, might be a little bit much to sell over the bar at the brew shed in a month or two, uh, 500 litres of beer, about a thousand pints, roughly. And because there's a large amount of that particular beer, um, I don't want to either waste it or be sitting on stock. So my plan is to split the batch. I've just tasted this beer. This is the base recipe that I'm talking about for the plum porter with flavouring, not the plum porter with real plums. I've just tasted the base recipe and I think it's fantastic. I've really dropped onto a cracker and what I've decided to do is keg it, split the batch, so half of the, when I do the big batch, half of them, half of the casks go to the plum porter and the other half I'm gonna do a nitro porter on keg. Yeah, I'll talk more about it in a minute. We're just coming to the top of this corny keg, so I don't want to overfill it. So I'll just pause the video and then we'll come back. Right, so there we are. That's in. Let's have a look. Let's talk about let's talk about these porters a little bit more. So, this is the plum porter with real plums in it. It's not porter coloured, but uh, it looks like a good colour. We'll come back to that in a moment. And this is the plum porter, we, we, the base recipe, what we're going to be using for the porter with essence or extract in it. So, let's check it. There's so much going on in that beer. It's fantastic. It's very low IBUs, it's well rounded, it's got chocolate notes into it, but not, they're hidden, like milk chocolate, not dark chocolate. Hints of roast, very little coffee, just tastes nice and roasty. Mm. I could drink all of this right now, as it is, straight out the fermenter. It's a bloody good beer. I think it'll benefit from being pushed out of a nitro nozzle on the bar. So that's what we're gonna do with this. So as I was saying before, half of the 500 or 400 litre batch that we do, we'll put around 200 litres of that over to plum porter, we'll put that on the bar, on cask, I might put some on keg, I don't know. And the rest of it, we'll put over to a nitro porter and we'll do the same, cask and maybe keg. So then we basically get four different beers out of one batch. I know, up here for thinking as they say. So that's something that's gonna be going on uh, tomorrow. We'll be brewing that beer tomorrow and we'll be putting it in the fermenter and of course that will be ready hopefully for Christmas. So the plum, this is all we've got of this beer. So we've got a corny keg full of it down here and we've got the bottles of which we did add some essence to some of it. But to drink this beer on its own, 
Now it smells slightly sour, it smells a little bit like like a Gerza or a, uh, is it a Gerza Tolkien, the plum style. And the taste, it's really, really quite refreshing. It's definitely sour, but it's not as sour as a Gerza. It's not as sour as uh, maybe an Elgood's Brewery sour, if you've had any of theirs. But it's on a par, I'd say, with a Lindemann's kind of creek or something like that. And you definitely get the plum. And because there isn't much of a roasty character in the beer, then uh, there doesn't really seem to be anything overpowering it. Just leaves you with that nice plummy sourness. So we're also going to put that on keg, I think this is suitable for, on the bar. But that's all we've got of that. We'll try the stuff in bottles. I don't think it's going to be much good with the essence in there, but we'll give it a whirl nonetheless. Like the man with the orthopaedic leg, I may stand corrected. Uh, but the main aim of the game is to get this nitro porter and plum porter on the bar. Uh, so that's why today's video has been pretty short. Uh, I've brewed uh, the best bitter, which is a boring brew day, let's be honest. I've done it hundreds of times now. Uh, but I wanted to make sure that I reconditioned some of my corny kegs to get this beer into them, which I've done. And this is what you've all been waiting for, the big reveal. We are going to be brewing tomorrow on the pilot kit. If not tomorrow, then Friday, because I'm doing the porter as well. But one day this week, we'll be doing an East Coast IPA on there. I've put the recipe together. I'll talk to you guys about the recipe on another video, and then we'll have a brew day. I might put it all into one big brew day video and then we'll just have a follow-up when it comes out of the fermenter into a keg. We shall see. Anyway, uh, I'm going to sup these before I go home. Uh, appar apparently Gemma's ordered Chinese in, so aren't I a lucky boy? It is getting on though, so I should wrap up, go home, edit a vlog, and uh, well, get ready for doing it all again tomorrow. So big thanks to everybody who's supporting me on Patreon, of course. If you like the video, then like the video. Don't forget, if you're not subbed already, hit that subscribe button and then you'll be told when the next one is up. And if you're not, maybe you just need to click the bell notification down there as well. And while I've got your attention, will you please look in the description box below. There is a link to the North Nottinghamshire Business Awards where Harrison's Brewery and the brew shed are nominees. Please sign in and give us your vote. Very much appreciated. We'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Wonderful beer.